Hey guys, what's up? My name is Sean Russelt and welcome to my Delphi programming series. So in this video we're going to be learning how to use the if statement. And yep, let's begin. Here's our button. If statement basically looks and works like this. If you have a condition and then begin. Basically, if 1 equals 1, which is true because 1 is 1, then it will basically run all of this code inside this begin and end. So for instance, 1 is equal to 1, so if we click the button now, then it will display the message. But for instance, 1 is not equal to 2, so it will not display the message. But we can also say this, which basically means 1 is not equal to 2. So this is the opposite of the equal sign. So then it will display it. Instead of using this, we can also leave the equal sign, but then just add a not in front of the brackets. Now you can also use bigger than and greater than, so 1 is not bigger than 2, so let's make it 10. Then we will display it. Or we can reverse it. For instance, boom. Let's change this a bit here. Okay, so this also works with, with strings. For instance, hello is not equals to that. So for instance, if we compile now, then it will not show anything. If we add hello in here, then it will show something. If we for instance move this h and make it a smaller case h, then it will not work because this is case sensitive. So it doesn't. So it doesn't work. Um, yep. So let's put it into an example. Let's add a variable. Let's not let's, let's not add variables today. We're going to be using the direct stuff. So if edit one dot text equals edit two dot text. It's basically if this um, text is equals to this this text. It will just run this this show message. So um, your two text, your two edit components text is equal to each other. Let's not do it like this your text is equal to each other, let's just leave it like that. Basically if we enter some nonsense here now, and then hello here, it will not work, because it isn't the same. If you add hello here, then it will compile, and it is equal to each other. So let me show you something else. You also get the um, if else statement, so you add else there, and then Again, it's so basically um, this code will run if it is true, and this one this one will run if it is false. So your text is not equal to each other. So, for instance, hello, um, by then shows your text is not equal to each other. If you make this by, then it is equal to each other. It's basically just um, it, it it runs this one if it's true, or this one if it's false. And mm, um, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And uh, make sure you guys know how to use how to use if statements because we're going to be using this a lot in the future videos. Like I guess in almost every video. 
um, I don't know anyway make sure you know it it's really important and I'll see you in the next video bye